Welcome back to another Magic Arena video. I am Magic Sven, and we're playing a deck that is near and dear to my heart. You may remember a couple videos back, I had an Emperor of Bones Ulamog Defiler deck, and I love that combo so much, but I found, I think, a much better shell for it, so I really want to show this off. Um, this deck went 46-15 for me on the ladder this month, so a really good one for climbing up there. Got me to Mythic this month in the Historic queues. So the combo here is Emperor of Bones. Two mana, two two, exile a card from a graveyard at the beginning of combat. Pay two mana, put two plus ones on it. When you do, reanimate one of the cards that you exiled with Emperor Bones. So what you do is you get Ulamog the Defiler or Atraxa in the graveyard, exile it with Emperor Bones, pay the two to bring it back out. And if it's Ulamog, then Ulamog sees itself in exile, comes in with 10 plus one plus one counters, has haste, has Annihilator 10, boom, opponent dead usually, and if not, you know, they're sacrificing their entire board anyways. So the shell, I like the shell a lot. It's a Psychic Frog deck, really. So two mana, one, two, discard a card, put a plus one, plus one counter on Psychic Frog. Very important to get these big baddies in the yard, and whenever it deals damage, you can draw a card, and then you can also exile three cards from your yard to gain a flying until end of turn. Uh, we've got some good interaction over here, Thoughtseize, Fatal Push, Three Steps Ahead, Doubles as Counter, and Ways to Get Things to the Yard. Spell Pierce has been pretty good for me, a couple copies of Consider, Tain Indulgence, nice instant speed draw, and another way to get things to the graveyard. And Ledger Shredder, probably the weakest card here, but plays both sides of the coin pretty nicely, discarding cards as well as being a threat in the air. So let's take it into the queues and see how we do. Good interactive hand, um, yeah, we'll keep it. See what a Johnny Goldman is on. They're on Restless Cottage. That feels like a good matchup for Thoughtseize. Yeah, just kind of um, looks like mid-range elves. I think Marwyn the Nurturer is the scariest card here. They can play Leaf Crown Elder, and I can push it. Seems fine. Oh, Priest. I think I have to push the Priest immediately. Call me the priest pusher. Get them down. Kinda just hope to draw land next turn. Glissa Sunslayer. No land. Let's play Tainted Indulgence, try to find it. Oh yuck. Okay. Looks like we're in a bad spot here. And they get to draw cards. And they might have a play. No, nothing. Okay. Then let's play Ledger Shredder. And we'll Thought Seize. Loot something away. We desperately need to. Probably the Spell Pierce. Don't need that. Yeah, land is fine. And they had a Boseju. Okay. They have a... Yeah, this is legendary, so they can Boseju now if they want to. Um, I think I just want to get the Leaf Crown out of here. First Strike, Death Touch. Kind of messed up. I've got blockers. Lisa Lana is not too bad. I make a treasure token here. We're not close to comboing, unfortunately. Yeah, there's the treasure token. We'll take three, they'll draw. So whenever deals combat damage to a player, no blocks. Oh. Yeah, that's that's fine. I feel like that's ooh, that's pretty good. So now there's no way they're gonna have removal, right? There's no way. Play Ledger Shredder and then Emperor Bones. Exile one of their elves, I guess. 
and more importantly we'll do some looting with our shredders here mm, i don't want water grave i'll at least pitch one land push i think push is pretty good so let's do it like this now we can block here block the gala greeter I'll eat your... I feel like this is more likely to come back. Animation is totally in the cards here. They do have black, so I wouldn't be too surprised to see, like, Unearth or something. No attacks. I probably will eventually need to, like, push this Glissa by sacking a guy. Which isn't ideal, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, they're booting up the cottage, hitting me for seven. This does exile cards from the graveyard. I probably should be more aware of that, but not too big of a deal. Um, I think I can take it all here. Let's see if they want to remove counters again. That's totally fine. I do not mind. Yuck, land. So now what? I think we just pass. I'll eat this. This matters more if they reanimate it right now. Shaman of the Pact. So I have to counter this now? Alright, so we get an elf, we get a counter. I don't think they can boot up the cottage, right? One, two... Treasure, food. Okay, now what? I have to block both of these. Ah, that shaman really got me. Okay, so... Glissa first strike kills my ledger. Now I fatal push something. Is it going to be the Lissalana? No, I don't think so. I think it's just the Glissa still. And hope I get Ulamog off the top. How many permits do they have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So let's do this. Really don't want to draw another land here. Just want Ulamog. Consider. Consider, huh? So do I have any chance of surviving next turn? No. So I should just get rid of the Dark Slick Shores. Alright, so down goes the Glissa. Down goes my second Shredder. Thoughtseize. Let's consider. Ulamog on top. I take Atroxa. Oh my god. Am I the luckiest man alive? Is it possible? They said it couldn't be done. They said no one could be that lucky. Ulamog? We even have enough to kill them. Activate. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they're gonna have one permanent left. So if they sack the food. Yeah, this is just enough, because if they sack the food, then they don't have enough to like win. <laughs> I may be the luckiest man alive. I, I very well could be the luckiest man alive. All right, it's a pretty good looking hand here. We've got some interaction and importantly, we got Psychic Frog that kind of holds this whole thing together. Up against a Yorion, so Fatal Push probably not that exciting, but Spell Pierce should be good. We'll keep it. Lead on our Dark Slick Shores. Up against a World Tree. Thought Seeds was a really nice draw. Let's see what this means. Uh, looks like just big stuff. In that case, I think I want to take the Shielder. That looks like the most impactful card there. They're not doing anything for a good long while. And they're cracking their Fabled Passages on their turn immediately, which is my preferred way to do it as well. Gotta get that time equity in, you know. Past the turn, we got our Psychic Frog out. And they do have a lot of, like, very powerful cards. Though probably not anything this turn coming down. So... I think I want to have my Thoughtseize. Let's discard the Atraxa. Might as well get a little bit of extra damage in. Hit for two, draw our card. Won't do anything until we know what we're drawing here. And let's Thoughtseize the opponent. Spark Double, Binding. Take the binding, keep our frog protected. Play land past the turn. Probably discard a land next turn to the psychic frog, just keep that clock sped up. And yeah, spark double doesn't copy the frog. I think I could push it if it did. I think copies also copy the mana value. And they just put Yorion into their hand, which is fine. Argo, second frog. Um, you know, let's discard one of these lands. Hit for three. Do I want to discard anything else? I don't think so. The rest of these cards seem pretty okay. Ulamog, huh? All right, so we're looking for our Emperor of Bones. We we'll play the second frog past the turn. Could be seeing Yorion come down here, and we are. With, uh, no real value, but that's okay. And no blinks. Another land's not super exciting. So I could kill this Yorion if I discard my whole hand, and then they play Garuk and I probably lose. I don't know exactly what this does, but it doesn't seem like what I want to be doing. So it looks like they're gonna block, which is, I think, fine with me. Let's discard Ulamog, and we'll discard Fatal Push, starting to look pretty bad here. Or I could just get rid of the land. Yeah, actually, I think that's better. I'll just dump the land. Kill this Yorion past the turn. See if they want to play Garuk, which I will be happy to spell Pierce here. Looks like it is going to come down. No, it's this. So, did they pay everything? One, two, three, four, five. So they do the whole thing, draw three cards, lose a bunch of life. I think that's fine. They go to eight. Now we just kill them, I think. I can just discard Tainted Indulgence, discard Fatal Push, and Hit you for eight, yeah. <laughs> well, you don't need to do the combo. Sometimes Psychic Frog just wins on its own. Pretty bad hand, uh, but we do have Ledger Shredder and a Fatal Push. I, I guess I keep it. Need to get these guys looted away. So we'll let that enter tapped. Yeah, that could have been a mistake. Maybe I should have played the Vista in case they lead off on, uh, not Cleric Class. Cleric Class, I will not be bothering with. Let's play Prismatic Vista. Um, actually, I think I'll play the Tainted Indulgence this turn. So let's just pass here. 
Didn't need to fetch right away, but I did. And so they could be playing a creature this turn. I would guess this is like a Soul Sisters build, given the cleric class. So we might see like a Johnny Primate or something. Another cleric class, that's fine. That doesn't bother me too much. And a Johnny's Welcome. All right, well, as soon as they play a creature, they will be gaining some life. The time is not yet, though. Let's put Lamog in the graveyard. And I guess play Vista. So I got to push up. I'm going to push up either way. So I think I just play Shredder. Pass the turn. You know, like a Johnny's Pride Mate or something similar is like the card to worry about here. But Fatal Push answers that very nicely. Soul Ward, sure. You can gain so much life. Here comes the Pride Mate. Ocelot's Pride, perfect. Let's dump this. That resolves. And let's push this now before it gets out of hand. Gain your life. All right, let's see what our friend is working with over there. This costs a million mana, this doesn't. Um, awkwardly, don't have double blue here. Should have played differently. Did want my double blue up. So what happens when I do here? Four, not much. I think I just want to like keep looting and get a ton of it in with this shredder. Let's discard the Vista. Could play second thought sees. I think I just discard the pathway here and attack. Uh, we do have all our things in the graveyard. So oh, voice of the blessed was a really nice draw. They're gonna gain a ton of life here. Emperor of the Bones. Have you heard about this? Have you seen this? Emperor of Bones? Gain some life? Sure. Absolutely. Then we go to combat. And in our graveyard, we've got a little secret friend here. Ulamog. Let's reanimate Ulamog. And in he comes, sees himself, enters with a 10, a plus one, plus one counters, and a finality counter for good measure. And let's attack, you please sacrifice 10 of your favorite permanents. And we got a ways to go, but <laughs> they're, they're packing it in, they're done. They say, I've had enough, I don't want to see any more, I don't want to sit here while you attack me with birds and frogs. <laughs> let's move on. Pretty good hand here, gonna keep this. Not sure if I want to play Consider on turn one or not. I'd consider it. Oh, bump the mic. Um, yeah, I think I will. The frog's actually great. Keep the frog. Get the Tainted Indulgence. Play the Psychic Frog. Pass the turn. See what they can do to stop that. And if they bolted, like, I will discard two cards. They bolted twice. I'm out of luck there. There's Symmetry Sage. And yeah, here comes Play with Fire. Well, I'm definitely going to discard a card. I don't think that was ever a possibility. Kind of a strange play, honestly. Um, ooh, Ulamog, the Defiler. So let's go to combat and hit. Uh, there's no way they can block here. All right, so we hit them. Push is not bad. I'm just gonna pass. Probably push this Symmetry Sage. Could have also gone Shredder push that turn. 
But I kind of like doing things on their turn. Harmonic Prodigy. Interesting. Okay, well, let's cast this. Discard. And we've got enough mana. We've got it all. Let's get them. Emperor of Bones. Go to combat. Pull in the Ulamog. Bring it out. Bring it out. Sack all your permanents. Take 19. Kablamo. Boom. Boom. <laughs> you didn't need those permanents, right? <laughs> no problem. Don't need those permanents at all. Good looking hand. We can do Emperor Bones Atraxa stuff, so we'll keep it. Lead on the Thought Seas. Sail the seven Thought Seas. Opponent has decided to mold a five, and you know what goes well with mold a five. Thought Seas you. All right, we've got a bunch of things. All kind of scary in their own right. Um, Kozilek's Command, I can sort of play around. So I can spawn. It's probably the best card here. So I could play... There's a lot of things I can do. I think I'll take the Cozy Command. It's a spell pierce target, but it's also like the best card in their hand and the best card against what I'm doing. Uh, here, I'm going to just keep up my attainted indulgence. May or may not spell pierce something. Like if they play like a mana rock, I might spell pierce that. Speaking of mana rock. Yeah, I think I will. I don't want them like going out of control here. Uh, Ledger Shredder is not that great, so I'm just going to do Attainted Indulgence. There's a Labyrinth. Uh, nothing to imprint. Mindstone, though. Okay. Mindstone's fine. This is Eldrazi, so they can cast their Sowing a Mycospawn. Let's get rid of the Atraxa. Mindstone comes down. Assume they're not going to crack it. All right, Dark Slick Shores right on time. Let's fetch with our Vista. I'll get an island this time. Then we'll reanimate Atraxa. Not the instant win fun that Ulamog is, but still quite potent. I'd love to draw, you know, Three, four cards. All right. Down we go. Get Atroxa out of the yard. Exile that. Would you like to sack your Mind Stone in response? No? Okay. Let's play Atraxa. Out she comes. All right. Definitely want Thought Seas. Definitely want Clear Water Pathway. Um, instance here. Don't want Fatal Push. I think I'll take a Attained Indulgence. And they're done. <laughs> That's enough for them. <laughs> yeah, Big Mall. I mean, we just kind of had them on the ropes there. They weren't going to get out of that one. Oh, what can I say? I love this combo. I love playing like a tempo deck up until the point where we just go, bam, Emperor Bones, bam, Ulamog you. Sacrifice 10 permanents, please. <laughs> yeah, the deck did well. It, you know, it did a great job for me climbing the ladder this month. Highly recommend it if you want to give it a go climbing up to Mythic. So thank you all for watching. Hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care, all.